Hello, I'm Matt Gill from TheHouse.com, and this is a Burton Lexa EST, and this is a Burton Escapade EST, and I'm going to show you their differences and their similarities. Both the Lexa and the Escapade are great bindings. They're specifically designed for women. It's not just a men's binding scaled down with a different colorway. They're designed for women to ride their absolute best. The Lexa is a little bit more freestyle oriented. The Escapade a little bit more free ride oriented, even though they both fall into the all mountain freestyle category. They're designed for those advanced level riders or intermediate to advanced level riders that can really appreciate high end technology. The base plates on both the Lexa and the Escapade are called EST. It's exclusive to Burton and can be only used on boards that feature the channel system, Burton snowboards. They have mounting hardware that can be used on the lateral and medial sides, not directly underneath your binding like traditional disc bindings. That's a good thing because it allows for the bindings to flex more naturally with the board, not causing any dead spots underneath your foot. It's a 30% short glass nylon composite single component style base plate. Then there's the toe strap. This is my favorite toe strap in the marketplace right now. It's called a Super Grip. It came out this year from Burton. It's a single component mold injected style strap. You can't, you can't break this thing. It just doesn't fall apart. And then of course is going to be the double take buckles. I like these double take buckles because it doesn't let the teeth wear out so soon. There's a helical style tooth on the outside horizontal style tooth on the inside. The helical style actually guides the buckle into and over the ladder and the underside, the horizontal teeth actually keep it locked in place. And then there's the differences. Now, even though you look at these bindings, besides their colorway, they kind of look similar, but there's three main things that are a lot different. The first one is actually the high back. The Lexa has a single component high back. It has an EVA padded top and a dial for lean adjustment and zero lean, meaning you can ride this thing straight up. And then the thing that's most noticeable is actually the heel hammock. It actually kind of suctions to your back of your boot to keep your heel locked into the heel cup of the binding. And then there's the Escabades high back. Now this is called the kickback hammock. It has multiple components to it. It actually acts a suspension and helps for your foot to kind of roll inside of the binding without any like major leeway. And then there's a little bit of a kind of a grip along the backside and a micro forward lean adjustment instead of a dial forward lean adjustment. Both high backs though are canted allowing for your ankles, your knees and your hips to be aligned more for a more natural style position. Then there's an the ankle strap. The Escapade has what's called a hammock strap. It has dual components, a double style spine, and a 3D molding. What I like about these, this hammock strap is that it's mold injected, just like the asymmetrical hammock strap. Pretty much the same thing, except for support in different places. On the lateral side, there's more support on the upper zone, and on the medial side, there's more support on the lower zone, giving it more of a freestyle feel. And then lastly, there's the cushioning. On the Lexum, underneath your foot is gonna be an auto cant sensory bed. From your heel all the way to your toe is gonna to be full padding with a little bit of B3 gel in the heel area and it's canted, meaning that there's a softer durometer rating padding on the medial side and a stiffer durating, durometer rating on the lateral side, meaning that your foot will, again, will mo roll more naturally. Um, I like this because, well, it's just tons of padding under your foot. Now, the Escapade has something super high tech. It's called the pod bed and the pod pad actually allows for padding only to be in those high pressure zones. And that's cool because it reduces the overall amount of weight the binding will have. But again, underneath your foot is not gonna be a lot of hard plastic, it's gonna be pretty much all padding. This is the Escapade EST and this is the Lexa EST. Both are great bindings, both look really cool and both ride great. And you can check them both out at thehouse.com.